Hey everybody, this is Quentin Flores with cbctmadeeasy.com. In this video, we're going to focus on setting the panoramic curve for your 3D volume in the Galaxis Galileos implant software. All right, so let's get started with showing you how to adjust the panoramic curve. So if you remember the 80 and 90 Disney sing-along videos where they ask you to follow the bouncing mouse, these are going to be a little bit different, and then I'm going to ask you to follow the yellow mouse. So as we're looking at this 8x8 field of view volume from any Densply Serona 3D machine, you'll notice that we have distortion in the anterior region of this particular image. So this is actually not from patient movement, although it could be. This is actually because we haven't set the panoramic curve. So let's show you how to do that, because you will need to do this each time you've acquired a 3D volume. So on the right-hand side, anytime you open up the implant software, you're going to have diagnosis up top, followed by findings, nerve, CAD cam, implant, and surgery in the lower right-hand corner. Diagnosis is where we want to be to adjust the curve. And to do that, we hover over the jaw shaped icon, which will then turn orange, and we'll click on it. So a window pops up that says New Panorama, and it's at the default values right now. So it's going to be the U-shape jaw, the average patient size, and the thickness is set 150%. The U-shape we'll use in this particular case, but 90% of the time, I'm going to want you to select the larger patient. Thickness will typically range anywhere from 150%, and if you click one up, it actually jumps to 175. So use your best judgment depending on the thickness of the jaw. So now the next step is to look down at this lower panorama view and look at this yellow line. Now to get the best possible image quality with any, without any distortion, we're going to need to lower that yellow line to dissect the mental foramens. Notice how it's lowering, and how I'm doing that is by clicking this down arrow right here. Now after I've been able to dissect the mental foramens, I will go up to this axial view, click and hold the blue line, and then move that up to dissect the bone as best as I possibly can. I'm going to release, and at any time, if you need additional instruction, notice they are here on the right-hand side. So if I like the way that looks, I'm going to click OK, and then watch how this image is now going to change. The adjustments have been made. Let me move this slicing window so you can see and look how much cleaner and crisp without distortion this image now is.